fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hey yo silver, the Lone Ranger. In the early days of the western United States, outlaws and Indians roamed the frontier. The local sheriffs were powerless to control them, and it was not until the Lone Ranger started his great fight for justice that law and order were established in the new territory. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear when adventure lay at the end of every trail. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. In the courtyard of the mission, the Lone Ranger sat astride Silver. At his side stood the good Padre, who had long been the masked man's friend. He held a letter in his hand and began to read aloud. The people here no longer speak to us. Even those who had been our friends turn away when they meet us on the street. We are hated by all, though no one dares to claim that we share in the guilt they have fixed upon my son. Padre... A manhunt is a terrible thing. Everywhere ride men who would kill my son upon sight. Our home is watched constantly. Frequently it is searched. All this, when, as heaven is my witness, my son is innocent. I write to you, Padre, having heard that the Lone Ranger is your friend. If he can help us, my gratitude will go with him all the days of my life. If he cannot, well, then I shall understand and not let sorrow make me bitter. Sorrow, I have read, must come to everyone. That is all? All, my friend, except the name she signs. And that? Mary Garland. Garland? Then you have heard? Her son is Vance Garland. See. Si. She speaks of a manhunt, Padre. It's been years since there was a hunt to compare with it. A crime of which her son has been accused is the most horrible crime, amigo. Forty men and women deliberately left to die of thirst as they crossed the desert. Permitted to die and to suffer terribly before they died. Because one man was a coward. But I have lived long, my friend. Long enough to learn that the truth can sometimes be made to appear a lie. Perhaps all that we've heard is not so. And would it not be most terrible also... If an innocent man should be punished for such a de deed? You're right, Padre. Then you will help? I ride at once. But you have not eaten. Where the garlands live is a long journey. No, Padre. There'll be time for food when Silver must rest. And Tonto? He's riding here. I shall meet him on the trail. Then I shall not attempt to detain you, amigo. Adios, Padre. Hasta la vista. Come on, Silver. Hello, Silver! The great horse leaped forward at the command of his master, the silver hoofs making thunder on the trail. 
away from the mission and westward. On the trail ahead, Tonto galloped toward his friend. Aye, Kimo Sabe! Aye! Back, Tonto! We ride to the west! Back, Kimo Sabe! Come on, Silver! Come on! Three days later, not far from the town of Oak Ridge, a careworn woman stood at the window of a weather-beaten house. She gazed across the prairie and... Oh, what is it, Ma? Ted, come here quickly. You see something? There, beyond the grove. Horseman. A white horse and a paint. Ma, you think it's them? I don't dare hope. Oh, wait. Look, it must be, see? One of them's masked and, and the other... The other's a redskin. The Lone Ranger and Tonto. Golly. Oh, thank heaven. Here they come, Ma. Hurry, unbar the door. Yeah. This is the Garland place? Oh, the Padre found you. He sent you here. Yes. Come in, please. Ted, bar the door again. Uh Uh-huh. You always bar the door? Oh, yes. If we didn't, they'd bust right in on us. They? Those who would kill my son. They're all a suspicion that he sneaked back here somehow. You must be Vance's brother. Uh Uh-huh. I'm Ted. You, you and Tonto... You've come to help. Mrs. Garland, I can make you no promises. If Vance is innocent, I'll do everything in my power to prove it. But if he's guilty... Yes? Then I must see that he's brought to justice. Vance ain't no more guilty than I am. He isn't. I know he isn't. Tell me what you can. You better talk fast, Ma. Somebody's bound to have seen him right here. Tonto, Uh, keep watch. Let us know if anyone comes. Tonto, do that. Now then, Mrs. Garland, to save time, I'll tell you what I know, and you can add what I've left out. I've heard the story that's been spread across the state. A party of settlers reached Oak Ridge and decided to cross the desert. They hired your son to guide them. They set out, and nothing more was heard of them. Then, a month later, an Indian scout rode into town with the news that the entire party had died of heat and thirst, according to the evidence. Am I right so far? Yes. Further evidence seemed to indicate that Vance must have taken a wagon, hitched his horse to it, and driven alone to Alkali Springs for water. It was assumed he'd done this to save the party the extra miles they'd have had to travel if the entire group had gone by way of the springs. Well, that's the way it looked. No doubt he ran into a party of Apaches at the springs. The horses, including his saddle horse, were found killed by arrows. The wagon was burned. But Vance somehow escaped. The springs aren't far from the northern edge of the desert, and Vance, afoot, left a trail that showed he reached it. Yes. Yes, that's true also. So people have drawn the obvious conclusion. If Vance was able to escape the Apaches, then he could have sent smoke signals to guide the settlers to the spring after the Apaches had left. The settlers, unable to read trail sign, could not reach water otherwise. Well, he'd have sent a signal if he could. It's claimed, however, that he didn't because he feared smoke would bring the Apaches back. It's claimed that to save his own life, he sacrificed the lives of 40 others. (laughs) Maybe he wanted to keep the settlers from being attacked. Signs revealed there couldn't have been more than half a dozen red men. Indians don't attack whites unless they greatly outnumber them. Oh, please. Yes? I, I know that mothers are said to be the last to really know their son's character. But Vance wasn't a coward. He didn't have an ounce of cowardice in him. I tell you, mister, my brother didn't savvy what it meant to be scared. Guilty or not, Vance is hiding somewhere. Have either one of you an idea where that's likely to be? No. Uh, I can't. Can't think of no place. Ted. Yeah? You didn't answer honestly. You either know or suspect something. Well, I... Uh, Talk. Now, look, mister, I don't well, know. Well, I got an idea. Just an idea, that's all. I haven't even told it to Ma. I'd tell it to you if I figured it was for Vance's good, but... But if when you find him, you're just going to drag him back here where he'd likely be lynched, and well, then I... You heard what I told your mother. Events deliberately left those people to die, and I won't interfere in his punishment. But if I feel he isn't guilty, I'll give him every chance to clear his name. You, you won't go back on that. You give Vance a real chance? I will. And I'll tell you. They're men. I knew it. There are plenty of horsemen. Now, coming was reported in town, and they're here to investigate. Quick, Ted. We've only got a minute. Ride to Wild Horse Canyon. Go clear to the end of it. There's a cave there. I haven't got time to tell you how to find it, but you will if you look close enough. Me and Vance found it when we was kids. We, we used it to hide out him when we was camping, and we never told nobody about it. If he had the chance, mister, that's where Vance headed for. Right. Come on, Tommy. Oh, hurry. Come 
want me to ride along? Stay there. We'll get in touch with you when we can. Come on, Silver. Get him out, Scout. Silver, away! They drop back, Tonto. Uh, we go canyon now. To the desert first. To Alkali Spring. Not fine sign there. Most of the signs may be gone, but something must be left. And what there is, I want to see. Hurry, old fellow. Hurry. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. The Lone Ranger and Tonto quickly outrode the pursuit. Most of the horsemen turned their mounts toward town. Four, however, rode back to the Garland place and... Oh, 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 oh. Come on. You and Cliff coming in, Slim. Lead the way. They seen us coming, all right. Yell to him. Open the door. Open up. We know you're in there. Hell, show him we mean business. We'll get in. Open up before we bust the door in. You hear us? We'll bust right in. There's somebody. Get ready. Now. Uh, you. All right, reach. No, you don't. Put your hands. I've got you covered. Too. Hey, easy with that shotgun. Keep your hands in the air. I'll give you both barrels. I'm sick and tired of you coyotes breaking into my home any time you wish. No, look here, ma'am. Wait. In the first place, my son never did what he's been accused of doing. Now, wait a minute. Don't interrupt. Me. But even if he had, it would never justify the treatment Ted and I have suffered. You spy on us. You break into our home whenever you please. You, Cal. There was a time when you called yourself our friend. I can remember when I nursed your wife when she was ill. But those things don't count now. Friendship, loyalty, nothing matters. All that matters is killing. If you found my boy, you'd shoot him down without a chance to explain. Well, you can do what you wish to Ted and me. But nothing you do will ever make us do one thing to help you capture Vance. I've nothing more to say. But I have. Yeah? You saw the mass man and the redskin, but you don't know who they are. Well, gents, that was the Lone Ranger and Tonto. They come here because they're on our side. Now, just what do you think of that? What are you talking about? I don't believe it. You're just running a bluff. Think what you wish. But now get out. Go on, on your way. You got the drop on us, but we ain't done with you. You are if you value your hide. And don't forget, the masked man for us. You fellas think that was really the Lone Ranger? Gosh, I don't know. It'd be funny, him sticking up for a yellow coyote like that. Well, are you going into town? Not just now, Cal. Me and Cliff's got something we have to do. Uh-huh. You coming, Ben? Yeah. yeah. Get, get up. up. Get, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Slim. I know what you're thinking, Cliff. They wasn't lying. If that was the Lone Ranger, that red-skinned part of his... Which, now that I think of it, I got a hunch it was. And we'd better be making tracks for Wild Horse Canyon. Pronto. You oh, on, boy. Here. You on, boy. In the desert at Alkali Springs, 48 hours later, we found all we can here, Kimosabe. Uh. Time and the others who have been here to investigate before us have pretty well confused the signs. Mm, that's right. Well, there are several things that need explaining. Mm, we find them out. Here, Silver. Call Scout Tonto. Here, Scout. You filled the canteens? Oh, uh, they're full. <laughs> Where we go? To find the one man who should be able to give us the rest of the facts, Kimosabe, to Wild Horse Canyon and Vance Garland. Let's get going. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Oh, Silver, away! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now 
to continue our story. Slim and Cliff did not cross the desert to reach Wild Horse Canyon, but stopping only to pick up supplies, followed a route that skirted the desert, heading first to the north, then west again. They made three camps, and late in the afternoon of the fourth day, they entered a narrow canyon walled by towering cliffs and floored by jagged boulders. They pressed forward until a voice hailed them with... Right there. It's all right, Humor. It's us. It's me and Cliff. Show yourself, Humor. Oh, so it is you fellas, eh? Uh, we come to give you a warning. Huh? Warning? What's wrong? We was told a lone ranger was looking for Vance. Yeah, you're loco. Well, we seen two fellas that could have been him and that red skin he trails with. Where is Vance? Inside the cave. He spill it yet? Not a thing. I'm just about through monkeying with that fella. Things have changed. We ain't got the time to waste it. We had a four. Cliff, let's go in there and work him over some. Leave the horses here? Yeah. Now, well, hold on. Well? Now, look here, Slim. You can't do it that way. Once you get tough with him, he'll be on to the truth. You can't try to force him to talk and still make him think we just happened onto him by accident. He'll be in suspicion things. And he'll know blame well we ain't been feeding and hiding him because we're his pods. Who cares what he thinks? I care. Because as long as we've gone this far, I want that cash. And we won't get it by threat. You can take my word for it. Well, come along. You're going to do it my way? For now, but not for much longer. I'll give you another week. And if I ain't talked then, I'm using my system. With a lone ranger horning in, we ain't got much more time. Where is he now? Don't know, but I'd give a heap if I did. Watch out, pushing through these brambles here. No! <laughs> Makes pretty good cover to hide the cave, don't it? Carefully your head. Well, hi, Red. Well, that's you, you know? A couple of friends to see you. Sleeping? Some. Oh, howdy, Slim. Oh, yeah. Say what brings you here so soon. Bad news, fella. Huh? Ever hear of a masked dumbbell that's called the Lone Ranger? Who ain't? But what's that? Slim says he's after you, kid. The Lone Ranger? After me? But you almost Slim. (laughs) Well, that ain't bad news. Why, that's just what we want. That's just the one fella that can prove I never run out of them folks to hire to guide. You don't get it. A mask army figures you're guilty. But well, sure, all he aims to do is to find you so as you can be strung up. No ranger ain't got no reason to figure you weren't to blame, Vance. If I could just talk to him. Talk to that fella? He'll throw down on you so fast you think he's grease lightning. The next thing you'll know, you'll be dancing a jig at the end of him. I've always heard he's fast. Sure. Well, he's got the true facts to go on. But he can make a mistake, can he? What you've got to keep in mind, Vance, is that me and Slim and Humor... Now, the only folks in the whole state that credit your story. Well, well, maybe you're right. Well, sure, that's how it came. Hold it. What's that? Hold it, I said. Somebody out in front. Didn't you hear him? You must turn out that uh, lamp. Yeah. Yeah, that Shut up! Get your guns ready. Look. Yeah? I saw him begin to light from outside just then. He's wearing a mask. Wait till he steps in. Let him have it. Oh, hold on. You can't shoot him down. That might be the Lone Ranger. Shut up, you idiot. Will you handle this? Here he comes. No. Watch out! Blast you! Uh, miss, shoot again! No, you can't shoot him down in cold blood. I'll... Uh, my hand! Come on, fella. Let me get him. Blast you, Vance! Black man, black brother, get drilled. You, you can't smash my hand! You're an effort. What's in, fella? Uh, listen. You're Vance Gullen? Yeah, but I never done what you figure I did, masked man. Honest, I never. Give me a chance to explain. You gotta believe me. Turn up the lantern, fella. How to do that. Vance, that's what I came here for. To hear your story. How'd you know where to look for me? Your brother said you might be here. But Ted wouldn't have told you unless... Well? Unless he figured you'd give me a fair shake. I promised him I would. There, you see, fellas? That's what I said. I told you the masked man wouldn't do nothing that wasn't right. Uh, Yeah, we uh, we didn't know that. Mister? Yes? You were really on the kid's side? I'm willing to give him the chance to prove he's innocent. Gosh, we didn't figure you'd give Vance a chance. We're friends of his, too. I hope you ain't holding it again us for firing at you. I mean, anybody would have done the same the way you busted in here. Forget it. Now, don't take these fellows outside. I want to talk to Vance alone for a moment. Uh-huh. Just a second. Outside. Please. Come along, fellas. Well? Vance, when I first rode here, I was convinced you were guilty. Since then, I've investigated. And now, I'm not so sure. But first, I want to hear your story of what happened. You, you mean after I went for water that time? Everything. Well, look, mister... I'll give you nothing but the straight facts. I drove alone to fill the cake at the springs just like you've likely heard. And I was attacked by Apaches like you must have heard too. They killed my horses and burned the wagon. 
But when I dug in behind cover and showed fight, they lit out. But it ain't true what folks are saying, that I, I sneaked away without doing what I could for the settlers. I did make a smoke to bring him to Springs. It's more, I, I lived on nothing but water for three days, waiting for him to show up. They didn't, so at last there wasn't nothing I could do but give up and try to save myself. That agrees with the fact I've discovered. The place where you built your smoke had been covered by sand. But when Tonto and I investigated, the wind had blown enough away to reveal the truth. Stranger. Yes? There's another thing. Something I ain't even told Slim and them, because, well, because even if they have been friends to me, I, I figured I couldn't tell it except to somebody I was positive about. What is it? Before I went for water that time, there were some things happened that made me wonder if maybe outlaws wasn't following our party. A couple of times I've seen riders in the distance, but they always galloped away, so... Well, I advised them settlers to hide their cash somewhere and send back for it later. Well, that cash must still be where it was first hid. Yes? The base of Needle Rock, over where all them gullies are. I know the place. Uh, are you figuring to help me? I believe I can, with the help of your friends. How did you meet them? Oh, that was sometime after I got clear of the desert. I, I was making for town afoot, never thinking that I'd be blamed for what had happened. They come along and told me to talk in town and said I'd better hide. I suggested this place, so here I am. I see. We're going outside. Yeah? I've got a plan that may clear you. I'll explain it to the others also. Men. Yeah? What do we do now? I just explained to Vance that I'd found evidence that might clear him. I found more I haven't told him about yet. Signs that indicate the war party that attacked him wasn't an Apache war party, but whites disguised as Indians. Oh, okay. Is that the truth? It is. Slim, I believe the best thing Vance can do is tell the truth to the law. And that's added to the fact that there's cash buried at the foot of Needle Rock, which he has made no attempt to get for himself. There's a possibility he'll be believed. Gosh, I don't know now. That... Vance, the masked fellow's right. Slim, I want you and your friends to ride to town after the sheriff. Tonto and I'll stay here to protect Vance from discovery before your return. Sure, we'll be glad to go, won't we, fellas? Sure, yeah, but... Yeah. but... But it seems like such a thin chance. Ah, oh, Vance, it was you yourself that said the masked man was the army to clear this up, didn't you? Mm, yeah. Then you just leave things to him. Everything will work out all right. All right, men, get going. The sooner you return with the sheriff, the better. Mister, we're on our way. Slim and his companions mounted and rode off in the direction of town. Once out of sight, they changed their course and headed towards the desert. <laughs> and that masked gumbre is supposed to be slick. Yeah, he played <laughs> right into our hands. We should ride to town. We'll go there, sure. But not until after we pick up that cash first. And the message we give the sheriff won't be the one the masked man's figuring out. Get up. Get up. Get up. <laughs> They rode first to Alkali Springs, where they made sure of a plentiful supply of water. Then they struck out for Needle Rock, a prominent landmark in the desert. It was a hard journey, one of hot days under the sun and bitterly cold nights when the sun had set. But finally, just two hours after dawn, one morning... Needle Rock! Whoa, oh, there. Whoa, there. Whoa, there. Come on. See any signs of digging anywhere? What's that over there? That looks like it. Hurry up. I want to get my hands on that cash. There was digging here, sure enough. What do we dig with? Hey, hand me that sharp rock over there. Give me a hand, Slim. Here. Water! What's wrong with the horses? Hey, the masked man. Stand back. Water! I'm taking your horses and water. I'm leaving you here in the desert, just like those settlers were left. Well, hold on. You can't do that. Unless you're willing to tell the truth. What are you talking about? I told you where the settlers had hidden their money to see what you would do. I saw you head for the desert. I rode ahead of you. Now I want the truth. And fast. We don't know what you're talking about. You can't frame us. Very well. I'll return when you're in a more willing frame of mind. Come on, Silver. Hey, come back with our horses. Come back here. Come on back. I uh, tricked. Blast him. And we ain't got no more chance of making our way to water a foot than buffaloes have of flying. <laughs> Slim and his companions soon began to suffer the tortures of thirst. To add to their misery, the masked man always remained in sight, although just beyond gunshot. 
once, as if by accident, he dropped a canteen, and the men recovered it. But when that was gone, their misery increased. Slim held up his hands in surrender, and followed by Cliff and Yuma, staggered toward the pile of rocks where the masked man was waiting for them. We give up, mister. Water. We gotta have water. Ready to tell the truth? We're, we're tell you the whole thing. Just give us water. Keep your hand from your gun. <coughs> First suspicious move you make, and I shoot. Don't shoot. You got us all right. Over here. Water. The truth first, then water. But, but we got... Quick. It. You tell it, Slim. And then... Then you let us drink? Yes. You was right about us being disguised like Apaches. That's what we done. Us and some fellas in town. But why didn't you hold up the party? Why did you go to the trouble of attacking Vance at the springs? That's how we was going to do it first, stranger. But just hold them settlers up, and... And we seen how we could get rid of them by, by letting them die of thirst. So we done it. That way the blame would be put on Vance. And there would be nobody left to testify against us. And no signs of fighting or anything. How about the smoke signal Vance sent up? Why didn't the settlers ride to it? Slim here told them the smoke was made by Apaches. He sent them off in another direction. And they said they'd find water. Really sending them further from water all the time? Yeah. Afterwards, when you found they didn't have the cash you'd expected, and you trailed Vance and hoped to get him to tell what had happened to it, huh? That's right. Give me water. Water, please. The sheriff will take care of that. Huh? The sheriff? You bet I will. Come on, fellas. Sure. Grab these skunks. Uh, uh, they was hid behind the rocks. All right. I wanted them to hear your confession. That's why I dropped a canteen the other day and allowed you to hold out until they got here. The Injun brought us here during the night and showed us where to hide. I don't care. Just so as I get something to drink. I can't stand it no longer. Give him water, Ben. Seems like a waste of time when they're going to hang so soon. Ben! <laughs> Don't bother him, mister. Look at him there with Ted and his maw. You ever see folks who was happier? Sheriff, you'll see that the truth about this is told as soon as possible. You just leave that to us. We've been mighty mistaken, stranger. But we'll fix that all right. And... Hey, hold on! Stranger! Get him, Tyler. Get him up, Scout! Oh, Wait! Oh, well, I'll be blasted riding away like that. If I hadn't known he was a Lone Ranger of four, now I'd be sure. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Thank you.